hey guys so in this video i'll be showing you how to add a group or user to the sudo as file without editing this specific file so without touching this actual file um so uh, let me just do sudo vi sudo so if you don't want to touch this particular file there's another way to add the sudo as to this and then it will automatically be linked to this sudo as file it will be read by the file system it is much preferred and the reason is that um if you make an error inside of that particular file it does not affect this sudo as file so all of these rules will still remain valid everything will begin to run as normal nothing wrong but in this particular sudo as well if you make an error here it could break the entire system so how would you do this so i'll just leave this guy alone we don't need to touch this etc sudo as file no there's another file we're going to change now how do we do this you say sudo let's say we want to let's assume we want to create a um, um want to add a user a user for example make say we want to add a user that we've created to the sudo as um, group so first let's let's create a new user first let me create a new user so I'll do uh, sudo user add um uh, jeff okay uh, let me just specify a group first I need to the group does not exist so I'll create a group first and then create the user so fine I've created a group janitor and then I've created a new user and I've added him to that group janitor all right so now we want to make Jeff we want to add Jeff to the sudoers so what do we do we say sudo bi sudo then dash f that's hyphen f then slash etc slash sudoers dot d this is a directory dot d slash jeff so what this will do is it will create a file inside this place so that the operating system can read that file and understand Jeff's permissions. So this is a blank file, right? Now let's put in Jeff's permissions. I'll just put something default. Um, Jeff, so I'll just say Jeff. I wanted to do everything, uh, all, let's say all, Um, I want him to be able to do stuff without entering a password. I want him to be able to do. I want him to be able to do everything without entering a password. Or I can just to keep things simple. All, all, all. Let's just leave it like this, so you don't get confused. So as I've done this, then I can save. So Control O, then Enter, then Control X, and that's it. I've pretty much done everything. That's all I need to do. So now Jeff is in the sudoers group or is part of is now part of the sudoers so he can do stuff um as a sudo user. What if it was a group I want to add? Still the same method. So I will say the same thing, but this time around I will say janitor. And here I will say percentage remember groups start with the percentage sign so i'll say janitor anybody that is in the janitor group please do all everything just do everything i don't care just do all so i can save this Control o and Control x and that's it so i have successfully um saved this
okay so um something else let's see what is i'm just trying to show you not something else actually uh pardon me let me just let's just see what's in the file at just cut this all right so that's it that's everything that is in the file all right um what else what if we want to understand um uh, some of this or oh, what what's all this all 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 stuff like what exactly does it mean so i'll explain it in a bit now um, let's go back into okay I, we can just use this to explain remember i tried typing something before and i said no password all what it just means is i want anybody who is in the janitor group to be able to execute everything without entering a password anywhere but what about all of these other ones like what does it actually mean so you see this first one is means that all users are allowed that's all users in this group are allowed. So I can actually do this and then specify that a particular user should have a particular set of permissions. The second one is the host. So in this case, it might be local host or it might be a specific IP address. And I'm, you know, I might want to specify and say, look, any, everybody in the janitor group should be able to do should be able to do something on this ip address alone or on this host alone okay the next one this third one is the person who is running the command to specify that okay you can do on any host it should be this person that should be able to do um run the command so I can specify a specific user and say, okay, this user should be able to run this command on this host. Then the last one here is the commands that are allowed. So I can specify that, look, for Jeff, I want him to be able to do things without entering a password, or I want him to be able to only be able to cut files or only be able to tail files or only be able to install updates or something like that so i can drill it down to that level of commands so you can actually look this up and see what type of commands you can spe allow specifically for a particular group or a particular user but essentially this is the safest way to edit your sudo as file without breaking anything else if you make any mistakes inside of this file, it is only that user that it will affect or only that group that it will affect. It's not going to destroy the rest of the system. Okay. I hope this now explains how to edit the sudoers file, the alternative method that is.